In politics, centrism, the center British, Canadian, Australian English or the center American, Philippine English, is a political outlook or specific position that involves acceptance or support of a balance of a degree of social equality and a degree of social hierarchy, while opposing political changes which would result in a significant shift of society either strongly to the left or the right. Center-left and center-right politics both involve a general association with centrism combined with leaning somewhat to their respective sides of the spectrum. Various political ideologies, such as Christian democracy, can be classified as centrist. Topic usage by political parties by country Topic Australia There have been centrists in both sides of politics, who serve alongside the various factions within the Liberal and Labour parties. In addition, there are a number of smaller groups that have formed in response to the bipartisan system who uphold centrist ideals. South Australian Senator Nick Xenophon had launched his own centrist political party called the Nick Xenophon Team in 2014, renamed Centre Alliance in 2018. The Palmer United Party has been suggested as being a centrist party as well, but the party itself does not make such formal claims of being politically centrist. Topic Belgium The traditional centrist party of Flanders was the People's Union which embraced social liberalism and aimed to represent Dutch-speaking Belgians who felt culturally suppressed by Francophones. The new Flemish alliance is the largest and since 2009 the only extant successor of that party. It is, however, primarily composed of the right wing of the former People's Union, and has adopted a more liberal conservative ideology in recent years. Among French-speaking Belgians the Humanist Democratic Centre is a centre-right or centre party as it is considerably less conservative than its Flemish counterpart, Christian Democratic and Flemish. Another party in the centre of the political spectrum is the liberal reformist movement. Topic Brazil Brazilian politics have lots of centrist political parties and one of the greatest examples is the Brazilian Democratic Movement MDB, which is the largest political party in Brazil. The Brazilian Social Democracy Party is also another example of centrist party in Brazilian politics, though it was supported by right-wing political parties from 2002, 2006, 2010 and 2014 elections. Topic Canada Throughout modern history Canadian governments at the federal level have governed from a moderate, centrist political position. Canada has been dominated by the Liberal Party of Canada who have traditionally positioned themselves as being more moderate and centrist than the centre-right Conservative Party of Canada and the more left-wing New Democratic Party, putting them somewhere between the centre and centre-left. In the late 1970s, Prime Minister Pierre Elliott Trudeau claimed that his Liberal Party of Canada adhered to the «radical centre». Far-right and far-left politics have never been a prominent force in Canadian society. Topic Croatia Croatian People's Party, Liberal Democrats and People's Party, Reformists may be considered as centrist parties. Agrarian Croatian Peasant Party during last years became moderate and centrist, having been centre-right in the past. Topic Czech Republic Czech Republic has two main centrist political parties, Liberal Año yes, and Christian Democratic Christian and Democratic Union, Czechoslovak People's Party. Topic. Estonia Topic. France France has a tradition of parties that call themselves «centriste», and the most notable centrist party is La République en Marche, founded by Emmanuel Macron, who was elected as President of France in May 2017. Another party is the Democratic Movement of François Bauru, founded in 2007. However, the centrist parties often oppose the left-wing parties such as Socialists and Left Front. It often support the centre-right Gaullist parties and have joined several coalitions governed by Presidents Jacques Chirac and Nicolas Sarkozy. <laughs> Germany Zentrismus is a term only known to experts, as it is easily confused with centralismus. Centralism the opposite to decentralization, federalism, so the usual term in German for the political center, centrism is politisch midi literally, political middle, or political center. Historically, the German party with the most purely centrist nature among German parties to have had current or historical parliamentary representations was most likely the social liberal German Democratic Party of the Weimar Republic 1918-1933. There existed during the Weimar Republic and again after the Nazi period a Zentrum, a party of German Catholics founded in 1870. 
It was called Centre Party not for being a proper centrist party, but because it united left-wing and right-wing Catholics, because it was the first German party to be a Volkspartei catch -all party, and because his elected representatives sat between the Liberals the left of the time and the Conservatives the right of the time. However, it was distinctly right-wing conservative in that it was not neutral on religious issues such as on secular education, being markedly against more liberal and modernist positions. The main successor of Zentrum after the return of democracy to West Germany in 1945, the Christian Democratic Union, has throughout its history alternated between describing itself as right-wing or centrist and sitting on the right wing with the Free Democratic Party in its social liberal moments sitting at its left, in the center and themselves sitting at the center, with the FDP in its classical liberal moments sitting at its right, in the right wing. The representatives of the Social Democratic Party of Germany, although they have since the 1990s many times referred to themselves as the New Middle, under influence of the Third Way of the Time, feel less at ease in describing their party as centrist due to their history and socialist identity. Alliance 90, the Greens was founded in 1993 as a merger from the East German Alliance 90 a group of centrist, transversalist civil rights activists and the West German Greens. The latter was a coalition of various unorthodox left politicians and more liberal realists. This Bundestag party also hesitates in using the term center, although it does distance itself as well from the tag of left, which identifies it for the moment as a transversalist party. The transversalist moderation of the party and its position in the Bundestag between the Social Democrats and the Christian Democrats while the FDP has its seats at the right of the Christian Democrats also points somewhat to the Greens being a more or less centrist party. In the state parliaments of specific German states there are other specifically regional parties which could be identified as centrist. The South Schleswig Voter Federation, of the Danish and Frisian minorities in the state of Schleswig-Holstein has currently a centrist political position, although in the past the party usually leaned to the left. In the German presidential elections of 2009, 2010 and 2012, it supported the candidates of the Social Democrats and the Greens. In Bavaria, the Free Voters Party present at the state parliament may also be seen as a centrist party. Greece In Greece centrism has its roots to centrist politician and founder of Agricultural and Labour Party, Alexandros Papanastasou. In 1961, Georgios Papandreou created along with other political leaders the coalition party of Centre Union. Five parties were merged, Liberal Party, Progressive Agricultural Democratic Union, National Progressive Centre Union, Popular Social Party into one, with strong centrist agenda opposed equally to right-wing party of National Radical Union and left-wing party of United Democratic Left. The Centre Union Party was the last Venizelist party to hold power in Greece. The party nominally continued to exist until 1977 after the junta it was known as the Center Union, New Forces, when its successor Union of the Democratic Center Edic party was created. Union of Centrists was created by Vassilis Leventis in 1992 under the title, Union of Centrists and Ecologists, though the name was changed shortly after. The Union of Centrists claims to be the ideological continuation of the old party Center Union. The party strives to become the political continuance of the centrist expression in Greece." Leventis aimed to become part of the Venizelist legacy of some great politicians of the past, such as Eleftherios Venizelos and George Papandreou Sr. However, the party's total influence had been marginal until 2015, with 1.79% of the total votes in the Greek legislative election, January 2015 being its highest achievement before finally making its way to the Greek parliament in September 2015 with 3.43% of the total votes and nine members elected. Topic. India In India, actor-turned-politician Kamal Hassan has launched a party named Makal Nidhi Mayam meaning People's Centre for Justice. He claims that the party's ideology is centrism as the name suggests and looks to focus on the politics of the state Tamil Nadu. As a self-proclaimed rationalist he claims to usher in a scientific rational centrist outlook to seek, analyze and solve various issues instead of falling for the binary polarizing political trap which the right wing and left wing tend to. Ireland 
In the Republic of Ireland, both two main political parties Fianna Fáil and Fine Gael claim the political centre ground, but seem to lean to the centre right and be mostly made up of centre right members. The two parties have shared broadly similar policies in the past, with their primary division being perceived as being steeped in Irish Civil War politics. Fine Gael is aligned to Christian Democratic parties in Europe via its membership of the European People's Party and is described internationally as centre right by the likes of Reuters. The consensus in analysis seems to be that Fianna Fáil is mostly centrist, expanding to the centre-right space and that Fine Gael is mostly centre-rightist, expanding also to the centre space. <laughs> Netherlands In the Netherlands, four moderate centrist to centre-right parties have sent members into the third Ruta cabinet since 2017. From them, the Christian Democratic Appeal CDA and the People's Party for Freedom and Democracy VVD tend to be centre-right whilst the Social Liberal Democrats 66 D66 are more centrist. The Protestant Christian Union is a small Christian Democratic Party that has transversalist positions less typical in European centrist parties. Whilst it is left-leaning on issues such as immigration, welfare and the environment, it is more conservative on social issues, such as drugs and euthanasia. They have participated in several coalitions due to their moderate centrist politics. Livable Netherlands was originally a centrist political movement of local grassroot parties with an anti-establishment touch similar to early D66. However, the party entered in 2002 national parliament with a right-wing populist program based on security and immigration as the major issues. In the 1980s and 90s there were two self-described center parties, the Center Party and the Center Democrats who at some point were represented in Dutch Parliament. However these parties were considered as far right in the case of the Center Democrats or even extreme right in the case of the Center Party in their opinion about foreign immigration. Both parties denied being racist or extremist in character. The party slogan of the Center Party was, NIET rects, NIET links. Neither rightist nor leftist and in some respect could be seen as a centrist or more correctly third position party since it borrowed ideas from the political far right a tough stand on immigration combined with typical racial prejudice and the political left mixed economy green politics however both of these two parties didn't really have a coherent ideology they were basically one issue parties focused on what the perceived as mass immigration from non-european countries topic nordic countries In most of the Nordic countries, there are Nordic agrarian parties. These share in addition to the centrist position on the socio-economic left-right scale a clear, separate ideology. This position is centered on decentralization, a commitment to small business and environmental protection. Centrists have aligned themselves with the Liberal International and European Liberal Democrat and Reform Party. Historically, all of these parties were farmers' parties committed to maintaining rural life. In the 1960s, these parties broadened their scope to include non-farmer-related issues and renamed themselves Center Party. Neither the Center Democrats, a now defunct centrist political party, nor the Liberal Alliance, a political party founded as a centrist social liberal party, but that now is a classical liberal party, both of Denmark, are rooted in centrist agrarianism. Topic: <laughs> Pakistan Pakistan Tariq e Insaf PTI, founded by Imran Khan, claims to be a centrist political party. Following the general election of 2013, PTI emerged as the second largest political party in Pakistan by number of votes. In July 2018, it won the general elections of Pakistan and Imran Khan, its chairman, became prime minister. Topic: <laughs> Palestinian Authority. The Third Way is a small centrist Palestinian political party active in Palestinian politics. Founded on 16 December 2005, the party is led by Salam Fayyad and Hainan Ashrawi. In the January 2006 PLC elections, it received 2.41% of the popular vote and won two of the council's 132 seats. The party presents itself as an alternative to the two-party system of Hamas and Fatah. Topic. Poland 
Civic Platform PO, ruling in 2007 to 2015, began in 2001 as a liberal conservative party, but later under the leadership of Donald Tusk turned into typical centrist in order to attract left-leading liberal voters. Depending on the context, it is described as either Christian Democratic it is a member of European People's Party, conservative, liberal, or social. Its pragmatism, technocracy and lack of ideology have been nevertheless criticized and currently, under the new leader Grzegorz Sztyna, it is returning to the right. Other political groups like Polish People's Party PSL may be described as centrist too in Poland, national moral right-wing law and justice as social conservative, usually at the same time economical left and favor protectionism policies. South Korea There are Barunmare Party, Democratic Peace Party and Evergreen Korea Party in the centrist political parties, advocating centrism in South Korea, though these parties are dissidents from the two mainstream parties, the Liberal Democratic Party and Conservative Liberty Korea Party. The Barun Party insists on centrist conservatism and is close to liberal conservatism. Democratic Party does not have the insist centrism ideology. It implies an ideology similar to the social liberalism that the U.S. Democratic Party is proposing. However, compared to the U.S. Democrats, the Democratic Party is progressive on economic justice but conservative on social issues. Spain The only national party that defends itself as a centrist party is Citizens, whose platform has been increasingly perceived as right-wing by the Spanish citizens as the Centro de Investigaciones Sociológicas surveys show. In April 2018 Quidadanos obtained a 6, 77, when ranging political parties from 1 to 10, where 1 was farthest left and 10 its equivalent in the right. It first entered the Cortes Generales in 2015. In Catalonia, where the party was born, many people even consider it as an extreme right-wing party, considering its fierce opposition to nationalism. Not even the media agree on its place and several newspapers from different ideologies manifest that citizens as either left or right, depending on their political line. Regardless of subjective opinions, the truth is that Quidadanos has always tried to reach agreements with the National Party, which according to several opinion polls Spanish voters most traditionally considered to be the closest to the center, Union, Progress and Democracy UPYD. This popular perception was pointed out by UPYD, which positions itself simultaneously on the political center and cross-sectionalism, thus embracing ideas across the political spectrum. UPYD has lost a great deal of its voters to Quitadanos, the latter counting with 32 representatives in the Spanish Congress in the last election. Electors also consider as centrists the Convergence and Union Coalition from Catalonia and the Basque Nationalist Party from the Spanish Basque Country, although these two usually consider themselves as right centrist parties. <laughs> Switzerland In Switzerland the political centre in German, die Mitte, in French, le centre, Italian, il centro is traditionally occupied by the so-called bourgeois. Parties, FDP, the Liberals center -right, the Christian Democratic People's Party center -to -center -right, and the much smaller Evangelical People's Party center -to -center -left. Recently some new parties were founded who claimed to be part of the political center, the Conservative Democratic Party center -to -center -right, a split from the right-wing populist Swiss People's Party as a self-styled center party and is widely conceived to be a party of the political center as is shown in a recent study, and the Green Liberal Party center, a split from the leftist Green Party. The Social Democratic Party is considered to be more to the left than to the centre in Switzerland the centrist parties tend to cooperate closely in canton parliaments and municipal councils. <laughs> United Kingdom In the 1970s, the traditionally socialist Labour Party moved further to the left, causing discomfort to MPs who saw themselves as belonging to the party's social democratic tendency. On 25 January 1981, leading figures from the Labour Party Roy Jenkins, David Owen, Shirley Williams and Bill Rogers, known collectively as the Gang of Four, launched the Council for Social Democracy, which later became the Social Democratic Party in March, after outlining their policies in what became known as the Limehouse Declaration. The Gang of Four 
were centrists, who had defected from the Labour Party due to what they perceived to be the influence of the militant tendency and the hard left within the party. After waning electoral success, the SDP merged with the Liberal Party in 1988 to create the centrist Liberal Democrats. In the late 1990s, Labour under the leadership of Tony Blair began to move towards a centrist third-way policy platform, creating the New Labour movement. The new New Labour era is seen as ending when Blair's successor Gordon Brown lost the 2010 election to the Conservatives. Brown's successor as leader, Ed Miliband, moved the party slightly to the left of New Labour era position. Miliband set out his stall to redefine the political centre, with pundits declaring New Labour dead. The Blue Labour Movement, launched in 2009, attempted to cultivate a new path for labour centrism that would appeal to socially conservative working class periods, and was a mild influence on labour during Miliband's tenure. The party later moved decisively to the left when the socialist Jeremy Corbyn became leader in 2015, as a result of the introduction of a one-member one-vote system under Miliband. In March 2011, Nick Clegg, the then leader of the Liberal Democrats and Deputy Prime Minister of the United Kingdom, stated that he believed that his party belonged to the Radical Centre, mentioning John Maynard Keynes, William Beveridge, Joe Grimmond, David Lloyd George and John Stuart Mill as examples of the Radical Centre that preceded the Liberal Democrats' establishment in 1988. He pointed to liberalism as an ideology of people and described the political spectrum and his party's position as follows. For the left, an obsession with the state. For the right, a worship of the market. But as liberals, we place our faith in people. People with power and opportunity in their hands. Our opponents try to divide us with their outdated labels of left and right. But we are not on the left and we are not on the right. We have our own label, liberal. We are liberals and we own the freehold to the center ground of British politics. Our politics is the politics of the radical center. In the 2000s, David Cameron also moved the Conservative Party towards the center, allowing his party to be elected in 2010 in a coalition with the Liberal Democrats. In the 2015 election, the Conservatives gained a majority and the Liberal Democrats lost most of their seats. They regained a small number of seats in the 2017 election. Cameron's successor Theresa May used left-wing rhetoric on her appointment as Prime Minister, stating her wish to tackle social inequality, and adopted some of Ed Miliband's policies, for example, on regulating energy companies. However, the party's 2017 manifesto was seen as sharp break from the centre ground, appealing to traditionally Tory heartland issues in the aftermath of the UK's Brexit referendum, including a promise to restore fox hunting. Following the Brexit referendum, politics in the UK was seen as having reverted to traditionally polarised left and right politics. For the 2017 election, the group More United was set up in the vein of the US Super PAC model to support candidates from multiple parties who meet its values. It gave support primarily to Labour and Lib Dem MPs, as well as one Conservative. In April 2018, Amid the Observer newspaper reported that a group set up by Simon Franks had amassed £50 million to start a new centrist political party in the UK to field candidates at the next general election. It has reportedly been named United for Change. <laughs> United States Independent candidate H. Ross Perot garnered nearly 19% of the popular vote in the 1992 presidential election. His Get Under the Hood campaign focusing on balancing the budget has been one of the most successful centrist efforts in U.S. history, but he did not carry a single state in the Electoral College. He went on to form the Reform Party and run a second time in the 1996 presidential election with less success. A late 2011 Gallup poll of Americans' attitudes towards government reported that 17% expressed conservative views, 22% expressed libertarian views, 20% expressed communitarian views, 17% expressed centrist views, and 24% expressed liberal views. Americans Elect, a coalition of American centrists funded by wealthy donors such as business magnate Michael Bloomberg, former junk bond trader Peter Ackerman, and hedge fund manager John H. Burbank III, launched an effort in mid-2011 to create a national virtual primary that would challenge the current two-party system. The group aims to nominate a presidential ticket of centrists with names that would be on ballots in all 50 states. 
The group banks on broad cultural dissatisfaction with the partisan gridlock in Washington, D.C. The Christian Science Monitor has stated that, "...the political climate couldn't be riper for a serious third-party alternative," such as their effort, but the "...hurdles Americans elect faces are daunting." To get on ballots, journalist and political commentator E. J. Dion wrote in his book Why Americans Hate Politics, published on the eve of the 1992 presidential election, that he believes American voters are looking for a new political center that intermixes liberal instincts and conservative values. He labeled people in this center position as tolerant traditionalists. He described them as believers in conventional social morals that ensure family stability, as tolerant within reason to those who challenge those morals and as pragmatically supportive of government intervention in spheres such as education, child care and health care, as long as budgets are balanced. Washington political journalist Linda Killian wrote in her 2012 book The Swing Vote that Americans are frustrated with Congress and its dysfunction and inability to do its job. A growing number of Americans are not satisfied with the political process because a number of factors such as influx of money into politics and the influence of special interests and lobbyists. The book classifies four types of independent voters including NPR Republicans, America First Democrats, the Facebook generation, and Starbucks moms and dads, who were big determinants of swing votes in the 2012 presidential election. Political columnist and author John Avlon wrote in his 2005 book Independent Nation that centrism is not a matter of compromise or reading polls, rather it's an antidote to the politics of divisiveness, providing principled opposition to political extremes. Centrists in the two major U.S. political parties are often found in the New Democrat Coalition and the Blue Dog Coalition of the Democratic Party and the Republican Main Street Partnership of the Republican Party. Outside of the two major parties, some centrists inhabit the Libertarian Party and independent candidacy movements, such as the Centrist Project co-founded by Charles Whelan. See also Footnotes Further reading David S. Brown, Moderates, The Vital Center of American Politics, From the Founding to Today. Chapel Hill, N.C., University of North Carolina Press, 2016. Topic. External links Quotations related to centrism at Wikiquote